Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and good day everyone. Today, let's learn about demand analysis part 1. Let's start with definition. By definition, demand is the willingness and ability of an individual to purchase a number of goods and services in a given period of time at a certain price, ceteris paribus. Ceteris paribus in economic means it is assumed that all factors that affect demand do not change. Any changes that increase or decrease demand are only due to changes in the price of the goods or services. Law of demand indicates that high prices will lower the demand for goods and services, while cheaper prices will increase demand for goods and services. Makes sense, right? This is what happens to most of us, where we will look at the price tag first before making a purchase. And unknowingly, there are times when we will postpone the purchase if it is found that the price of the item is quite expensive. Meanwhile, when we feel that the price offered is quite affordable, for example, during YES, year and sale, surely more people will scramble to buy. Thus, the relationship between price and quantity demanded is negative. Let's look at this simple example. A shop selling home decoration products has offered an attractive medium-sized village landscape painting at a price of 150 ringgit. It turned out that at that price, only 2% agreed to buy on the first day it was offered. With less encouraging demand, seller decided to lower the price to 130 ringgit. However, the situation still has not changed much, where only 5 buyers bought the painting. So, the seller lowered the price to 100 ringgit on the third day. He was overjoyed when some people who stopped by his shop bought it. Sales on the third day showed an increase where he managed to sell as many as 10 units of landscape paintings. If this situation is illustrated in a diagram, then we will be able to see that there is a negative relationship between price and demand for goods where the demand curve is sloping downwards.